Thomas Markle is through with the rumors and speculation, blowing up Meghan's reality-challenged world with a huge truth bomb. The Emmy Award-winning lighting director said, F asterisk CK it, I'm done. I'm tired of the bullshit asterisk T written about me. Mr. Markle held nothing back as he shed light on the Duchess of Sussex's most shocking secrets that she never wanted anyone to know, and now she is livid. Thomas Markle is on fire as he gave an exclusive interview to the popular British newspaper, The Daily Mail. After his 37-year-old daughter ghosted him by blocking his calls and leaving him no way to contact her, the distraught 74-year-old father is done as he realizes some hard truths about his little girl. Thomas Markle has confirmed some shocking facts that so many in the press have only speculated about. From the very beginning of Meghan's courtship with Prince Harry, he was out in the cold. Markle told the US while his ex-wife Doria Ragland got the royal treatment, he was treated like an outcast. Markle claims Doria was presented with the Gold Embossed Royal Engagement Announcement and coveted royal wedding invitation by two representatives of the British consulate, while he got nothing. No one came to my door in Mexico. I would have liked the engagement announcement too, said Markle. And in an astonishing oversight, he says he was never even sent one of the 600 ornate formal wedding invitations. The retired lighting director said, I never got a wedding invitation. At first, I thought, that's okay, because I'm part of the wedding, but I would have loved to have had an invitation to put in a frame. One has to wonder if Meghan's father was ever really part of the royal wedding. Royal insiders astutely pointed out back in May that the former American actress was playing games and never intended on her father getting anywhere near the royal wedding. In fact, when he asked to give a speech at the wedding, Meghan abruptly shot him down. During the one phone call they had before the wedding, Thomas Markle says, opening bracket Megan closing bracket replied there was no room in the ceremony for a speech by her father. But, there was room on the big day for Sir Elton John to perform. Also, Megan made sure Hollywood Alisters made her big day. Oprah, the Cloonies, the Beckhams, Idris Elba and Tom Hardy heard speeches from Megan, Harry, Prince Charles, Prince William, and a joint effort from Tom and Skip and Charlie Van Straubenzee two of Harry's closest friends. Reflecting on what really drove his beloved daughter to cut him off, Thomas Markle now believes it is due to his refusal to disown his other daughter, Samantha. Mr. Markle told the Daily Mail, Megan asked me to tell Samantha to stop talking about her and then asked me to stop talking to Samantha. I have two daughters. I can't stop talking to one of them. No father should be asked to turn his back on their children. After being shut out for three months, Meghan's father said, I'm not mad at Harry. I'm not mad at Meghan. I love them. I wish them well. But as for the rest of it, F asterisk CK it, I'm done. The report tells how Samantha attacked Meghan for failing to pay their dad back thousands of dollars which he spent on her private education and university fees. But Mr. Markle insists it was his parental duty to help her out and never expected to get the money back, the interview says. Thomas Markle cleared up many of the lies that have been floated by Meghan's nasty PR people. Meghan lived with me from the age of 11 until she went off to college after high school, started Markle. He also wanted to hit back at the charge he mocked off of Meghan or the royal family. He went on to say, I have been nominated for eight Emmys opening bracket the television equivalent of the Oscars closing bracket and won three. I've traveled all over the world. I did declare bankruptcy because I was in credit card debt and I wanted to wipe the slate clean. They were trying to charge me 28% on the credit card debt and I refused to pay that kind of crazy interest. He added, I've never taken a penny from Meghan and I've never cashed in on the royal family. I've been offered hundreds of thousands of dollars to do talk shows, and I've turned everything down. While Thomas Markle may not be as suave and sophisticated as Meghan likes, he admits his failings. The former American actress can say the same as she has been caught in one huge lie. By all accounts, Meghan Markle was cunning and manipulative as she worked her way into Harry's life. During her now famous engagement interview, she gives a forced smile saying, I'm from the States, 
I didn't know much about him Harry. But Meghan Markle can't escape her own words and how she was fascinated by British royalty. Glamour magazine reports, being a princess isn't something that came totally out of left field for her she had actually thought about it in the past. In 2014, Meghan Markle interviews Princess Alia al Sanusi, a descendant of Libyan royalty and revealed how she'd thought about being a princess as a kid and she even mentioned Kate Middleton's royal wedding to Prince William. But she doesn't know much about Prince Harry, right? The former suit star wrote, Little girls dream of being princesses. I, for one, was all about Shira, princess of power. And grown women seem to retain this childhood fantasy. Just look at the pomp and circumstance surrounding the royal wedding and endless conversation about Princess Kate. 2014 was the year Meghan started to transform herself into a so-called humanitarian. She revealed that she followed her dating Bible called The Rules which are do's and don'ts on how to snare a rich man. Commenting on Meghan's claim that she didn't know much about Harry before they met, the authors of the rules, said, that was brilliant. Most women would have been starstruck. Meghan's best friend for over 15 years, Nikki Pretty, who she dumped right after she met Harry, claimed the Duchess was fascinated by Princess Diana and the royal family. So much so she has no qualms about ditching a father who she sees as a hindrance to her new life. He is old and sick and can no longer do anything for her, so she cuts him off. Meghan Markle is cold and calculating. But she better be careful what she wishes for. Her royal charade might end as quickly as it began. She's playing with people's lives who are part of a 1,000-year-old monarchy, and Queen Elizabeth II won't allow the former Hollywood starlet to run amok, shaming the royal family forever. <laughs>